Hey guys, and welcome back to the card review series. So today we are looking at a beautiful, beautiful, awesome card. Might be a freaking staple. You need to get this. This card should be in your extra deck. We are looking at number 103, Ragna Zero. And oh god, she is so good. <laughs> so she is a Water Fairy XC effect, rank 4, tw 2400 attack, 1200 defense. She is generic, so she's just two level 4 monsters. And her effect reads, Once per turn, during either player's turn, you can attach one XC material from this card. Then target one face-up attack position monster your opponent controls. If the attack is different from its original attack, destroy it. And if you do, draw a card. Yeah, yeah, I read that correctly, guys. It's that freaking good. You know what this, you know what Ragnar Zero says? You know what freaking Ragnar Zero says? She says, fuck you, Fire Fist. <laughs> She just gave them the big ass middle figure and she was like, You're done. You're done, son. <laughs> Alright? Yeah. There's some decks that you know, it hurts other decks of course, you know, me being a Constellar player. That kinda hurts me as well because, you know, my opponent has Ragnar Zero and I go tanky search for cost, summon cost, they can easily just blow up my cost and then they'll get to draw draw a card. But, you know, I can play around not using costs, you know, I, c I can play around not using the tanky for a little while, I can go like, you know, uh, Pollux, I'll guide you, make a one-on-one -on -one and eat her, or, you know, make an Omega or something, so, uh, or, you know, a Paladimino, so, that's not, that's not really a problem, you know, what's a problem is against Fire Fist, because they can't do anything without activating uh, one of their fire formation tenki tensu goyoku the the whatever the trap card they need to activate those which obviously increases their attack oh you're a big target so yeah you know what what is what, how good is bear without a chair to throw you know so if i drop ragna zero on them what are they gonna do tanky search for bear summon bear blow that shit out <laughs> yeah so unless they have like a Tensu summon another bear just to throw the damn chair at me, but that at that point I'm good. I've already done my job. I've literally already just blew up one of your cards and draw a card. That that draw card, that extra draw card, that's what makes it so much better. So much better. She's pretty much just paying you back. You blow up one monster, you're paid back. You use two monsters to make one, so you neg one. But as soon as you blow up your opponent's monster and draw a card, that's when it starts getting good. So this card, definite staple. So I know you guys are probably worried. You're like, wait, hold up, hold on, hold up. A, a card that good, generic, 2400. That's pretty high for a, you know a rank four. You know that effect, destroy a monster whose attack is different from its original attack and draw a card. That card has to be a secret rare in Primal Origins. I'm not gonna pick one up. It's gonna be another 101, another Exiton. It's gonna be expensive as hell. Not gonna be able to pick it up. No, Daniel, I can't get it. I can't put it in my extra deck, guys. Guys, it's a rare. It's a rare in Primal Origins. It's pretty much in the same boat as that freaking Leo Synchro card, as Crimson Blader. <laughs> yeah, where these really good cards, for some reason, are just rares. So once again, this is a rare. Uh, maybe, maybe if it really gets hyped up, maybe I can see it going for like maybe five dollars at the max. But like I said, there are other cards in the. Primal Origin set that are a higher rarity and more expensive than what people are after, and people are kind of avoiding this card and imagining that it's not even there. But oh my god, this card will punch things in the mouth. Um, you know, Bujins? Bujins are. You can kind of get Bujins. The thing with Bujins is they can just. If they have the Yamato in hand, they can just summon it. Yamato doesn't have to have the Tenki, but, you know, if they want to, you know, go activate Tenki, search for Yamato, summon Yamato, you, you can go ahead and just pop, pop it with Ragnar Zero before they even get their. Um, before they even get their hair in the graveyard, so, you know, that's the thing, but that's not as powerful. Pretty much, this, this card just says, fuck you, Fire Fist, and I love it. Because I hate Fire Fist. I do. Fire Fist is one of my most hated decks. Um, I lose to it a lot. 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 <laughs> it's a really good deck. It's very powerful. Um, most of the time they get really lucky against me. Like, really, really lucky against me. and end up beating me. You know, whether it be on DN, Deb Pro, playing on my phone with the YGO Pro app, uh, playing in real life, I generally lose to Fire Fist. And the problem is, is that, you know, me running Constellars, 
sure, I can make pleadies, I can bounce you back, but then you're just going to have the card right back in your hand to use for later. So, instead, how about I just go, instead of going to pleadies, how about I just go to Ragnar Zero? Yeah, good, sure, go ahead, play your tanky. Sure, summon your monster. Okay, blow it up, draw a card. Oh, you end your turn? Alright, my turn, draw. Mm. Still got one more pop with my Ragnar Zero. Alright, alright, alright. And I just drew an additional card for next turn. Alright, alright, alright. This is looking good. So, um, Ragnar Zero, they're pretty much, you know, Fire Fist are going to have to go out of their damn way to get rid of Ragnar Zero. And you know what? I'm totally fine. They want to use multiple resources and go out of their way to destroy Ragnar Zero. That's fine, it's fine. You know, I'll summon Ragnar Zero, I'll blow up your Fire Fist on this turn, and on your turn, I'll blow up your other Fire Fist, because it's once per turn during either player's turn. God, this card is just really, really good. Like, I think that this card should be a staple, as long as Fire Fist exists, and clearly Fire Fist do exist, you know, people still want to play the Fire Fist, so, you know, I, I say, blow it up, blow it up, draw the card. Because it's going to be useful. It's going to be one of those camping cards in your show. It's not going to be used every duel. It's not going to be... It's going to be like a best dweller. You know? Pretty much, it's 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 a best dweller. Where it's not going to be used every duel. But it should be in your arsenal of extra deck. Because when it comes out, it's going to do its job. So, definitely put it in your extra deck. You know? So, uh, tell me what you guys think of this card. Like I said, it's a rare. Pick it up. It's in Primal Origin. I think it's gonna be great. I can't wait for it. I finally have a great answer to Fire Fist because I really didn't before. You know, my extra deck, it didn't really have an answer for Fire Fist. And really, you, you really don't have an answer for Fire Fist in the extra deck. You know, water, you have Abyss Dweller and, you know, Graveyard and other things. But Fire Fist is kind of like, I got I got water, but I need I need fire. I need fire. I need something to handle fire. And ironically, Ragnar Zero is also water. So, you know, you're going to you're gonna handle the fire with some water. You're going to douse those flames. <laughs> so, as you can tell, I'm really excited about this card. Go ahead and tell me what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching this episode of the Card Review Series. Thank you guys for all support. And I will see you guys next Tuesday with another card to be looking at. Thanks for watching.